Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're playing the disease degenerate Dr. Decker is dead. Disease degenerate Dr. Decker is dead. And he's crazy. Yeah, he is. All right, we're talking to Nathan. You know, what, what's what's going on with Nathan? He went into a um, trance. Um, He killed his girlfriend her harder. <laughs> He killed his girlfriend harder. Yeah. He did. And he can time travel now. And okay, so yeah. she was on life support and made her family have to pull her off. And then he was like, you know, I'm just going to go back in time and kill her all the way. Yeah. I mean, which, accidentally. Which honestly makes more sense for his power to not to relive days, but to be able to just travel back. Well, like, but why wouldn't he have just prevented her from dying instead of killing her harder? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, whatever. Like, if dude. you can do that, why don't you just not have her die. I guess it's like Groundhog Day. Bill Murray kept trying to save the homeless man. He kept dying anyway. I'm wondering if maybe I guess he didn't know that she was planning on leaving him until after she was dead, but still. Oh yeah, because, oh that's right, he did. Yeah, yeah. so I mean. Maybe he killed her because she found out he was gonna, she was gonna leave him. Oh, and he was like, you know what B? Yeah. Could bye. Be a, could be a timeline. Bye. <laughs> that's a little bit more than a bye. Yeah, right. Alright, how do you feel about Hannah now? I'm at peace with Hannah now. I can save her. No. And I'll keep trying, but I must move forward. I did kind of ask you not to talk about this anymore, but I suppose you're not taking notes. No, there's no notes here, man. No, we, we, we don't here. do notes. Nathan, clearly, I'm, I'm taking, talking. I'm, I'm taking, taking notes. <laughs> All right. Would I say that? Why lie about Hannah being on life support? Did you ever think? To drive away from the lorry, which is basically like what to, we were just saying. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I, I'm gonna say that one. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I didn't have time. I jumped back to the split second the accident happened. The truck was already on us. I swerved left the first time, so I tried right. If I could have saved her, I would have done. I didn't want her to die. That's a, why are you lying about that, dude? You wanted her to die because you knew she was gonna leave you. Did you go forward and find out that she was leaving you and then go back to get to the... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He found the letter and went back to try to... He butterfly affected the hell out of his yeah, life. Yeah, dude. He now kept... you're trying to look innocent. Guess what? You're not crazy. Go directly to jail. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why lie about Hannah being on life support? I haven't been lying. As far as everyone's concerned, she died in that car accident. Instantly. But did she? Oh, right. Whatever, dude. Well, we're done with him. All right, so we got, uh, we got Cowboy Bebop Overall Edition. And we got Bryce. Bryce. Who I think is our number one suspect. I want to go with Bryce. He was, he's, we, I thought he hasn't been able to be our suspect because he was, he, uh, oh. people saw him or whatever, yeah. blonde girl and... I think he did it with his extra hour. Oh, maybe, yeah. I mean, we got a lot of things. How was the girl that you molested in your extra hour? How, why are you still <laughs> stealing things? What's been, ha he got a lot of interesting stuff yeah. going on with this weirdo. And honestly, if you think about it, the murder, they said the murder happened at what time? After 11 o'clock because the janitor didn't come and find him until yeah. much later. So he could have came in his hour and just yeah. stabbed him in the heart with a ha yep. spike. Had access to the tenazepam. He, how are did. you today? Yeah, let's just start out. It's very simple. I'm not feeling very well. I tried to sleep through the midnight hour, and I slept for eight hours. When I woke up, it was looking at me. That, that thing was looking at me. Time was still frozen. I can't escape it. It escaped for eight hours? Wait, it was frozen for eight hours? Yeah, I don't know. I guess he tried to skip his extra hour. And it just stayed in his hour for eight hours? I don't know, whatever. Are you still stealing things have been happening in midnight hour? Yeah. Um, what do you think about uh, prescription, uh, prescription pad, pad. Jessica? That's what Jessica's doing. I don't know. I think we should stay on the doom. All right, yeah, let's go. It knows what I did with Dr. Decker. Oh. It's been taunting me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. What's it taunting you about? It wanted me to follow it, so I did. It brought me here, Doctor. Here. It thinks I killed Dr. Decker. I'm sure of it. 
Did you kill Dr. Decker? Funny enough, I think that too. Did you kill <laughs> Just like what you said. I took his body. It was me. I took it from the coffin because I didn't want him put in the ground. I don't know what I was going to do with him. I just, I just didn't think burial would be enough. Maybe I would cremate him. But the body disappeared. Claire. 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 First thing I thought. So they all had a, 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 a jive in it. Oh, yeah. I think there's definitely a lot of uh, different hands they in this murder. They all teamed up. How did the body disappear, Bryce? Yeah. If only he'd been cremated like you will be. Excuse me? I have a private tool shed at the graveyard. I moved his body in there before burial. But when I came back, he'd gone. It was locked and he'd gone. How did that happen, Doctor? How did Decker do that? He just said that we were going to be cremated. We told him that we wanted to be cremated in the earlier episode. It's true, I guess. He asked us because he's a grave digger. He was like, how would you like to go? And we were like, dude, I want to be cremated because obviously that's what we both want. Yeah, dude. Maybe Decker is back from the dead. Maybe. I kind of, yep, I think maybe upon him stealing these powers, he may have gotten a hold of uh, Claire's power. Oh. Even though he was he was tr trying to get Claire to bring him back from the dead. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Decker's back. Perhaps. It had crossed my mind that Dr. Decker perhaps resurrected himself. Maybe he wasn't dead, just sleeping. Hmm. Maybe someone else moved Decker's body. Yeah, maybe. If someone else moved Decker, they'd had to have picked the lock, moved the body, and then locked up again. Why go to the trouble of locking up again? I mean, that's a really good point, dude. Not a, yeah. Whoa. We're oh throwing my up. God. <laughs> Why? What? Why are we pulling out the teleport card? I don't know, right? <laughs> We're like just like poking the poking the fire. Uh, well, this is kind of putting the blame on him. Maybe his body teleported. It's not out of the question to think that Dr. Decker <laughs> teleported oh, himself no, out right. of the tool shed. If I can do it, he probably can. That's the kind of thing I've been thinking. But the thing that's been following me it can teleport too. I think the thing might be Decker. Is the thing Decker? Well, hell should I know, man? Yeah, right. How are we supposed to know that? You tell me. Talk to yeah. it. Have a conversation well, with the thing. We're going to try to keep his delusions minimal. We'll say no. It's not Decker. We don't have we, we, we We're just giving him info. We don't know. Yeah, dude. I mean, but we got to tell him. And so it is. You worried me then, Doctor. I thought you were starting to believe in the unbelievable, too. Dude, this, I don't, I'm, like, why are you asking me? Like, my my take on this subject matter is not going to be definitive. I don't, I've never seen the thing. You see right. it all the time. He sees the thing every night. Now there's a thing fighting him around, chasing right? him. All right, dude, how's Jessica now? I waved back at Jessica yesterday. Oh, congratulations. And she smiled. It was bigger than normal. I think we may have made a connection, Doctor. She's like, oh, the weirdo finally waved at me. The photos I have of her. I think I'm going to destroy them. They're my problem, not hers. So weird, dude. He's such a freaking creep. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a big he's creep. He's a freaking dude. creep, dude. Are you still stealing things, you freaking creep? I teleported creep? back into the art gallery after our session in the midnight hour. I replaced the painting, so... I haven't stolen anything for a long time now. Perhaps a cheeky borrow best describes it. A cheeky, cheeky borrow. borrow. Oh. <laughs> a what? cheeky borrow. Hey, Jonas, I cheeky borrowed $20 from your wallet. My right? wallet got cheeky borrowed, dude. <laughs> you stole. I cheeky borrowed your girlfriend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just cheeky borrowed yeah, her, huh? Borrowed them cheeks. All right. <laughs> what has been happening in the midnight hour now? I've tried to avoid my extra hour. I tried to sleep through it. I did try one thing. I spied on you, Doctor. Oh. You have a strangeness, don't you? 
How did he spy on us? He this, found he found us at Mariana's house. Yeah, this insider. Like, yeah, this one. Yeah, I like this He's one. He's like, you've been inside Mariana, huh? It, yeah, because it's so odd. It's like we spend the entire game as the new doctor, but we don't know what the hell we're even doing. Yeah, we don't know what our life is like yeah, outside of these. Besides uh, making it hurt for Mariana. Oh Jesus! All right, <laughs> what what strange? You live in the same house as Doctor Decker. What? what? I spied on him several times, so I know the house very well. You kept it almost entirely the same. Why did you live in the same house as Dr. Decker? Is it a perk? Or you, Dr. Decker? What the hell is he? T- Are we Dr. Decker? Are we Dr. Decker, dude? I don't know. Yes, I'm Stop. Decker. No, I'm not Decker. The house is a perk. I don't know. I think I might be Decker. I think we might be Decker. Why? Why would no one know who we are? And Jaya doesn't know who us. No one but nobody knows who we are. Because they can't find Decker's body. We okay. I guess it really doesn't make sense that we're Decker. Yeah. But we could be Decker. I mean we might be, but I think that would just be I feel like the end of this game is gonna be some twist that kinda comes out of left field. It's just gonna be like, Hey, I'm Jaya, I'm Dr. Decker, you're dead. <laughs> And that's it. And the game game's over. over. Yeah. All right. No, I'm not Decker, you freaking house is a perk. I thought it might be a perk. I'm sorry I spied on you. I was just getting worried that you weren't who you said you were. You should ask him, do you see my penis? Just some mannerisms. <laughs> strangeness. It's good you've adopted his dog, though. I'm not sure many people would have done. Oh, wow. So we even have Dr. Decker's dog in this. We basically yeah. took over Dr. Decker's life. This is what I'm thinking that we might be Decker, man. Like, Claire, Claire brought us back to life. Whoops. And then we just absorbed ourselves as Decker. Right. And I don't know, dude. It's weird. It's right. weird. I don't know. I just want to know what happens at this point. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to wrap up. Did you know anything about the missing prescription pad? I didn't steal Decker's pad. I didn't have to. If I wanted to use it, I could just teleport in here and steal a sheet. Why take the whole pad? Why be that obvious? I mean, he's not wrong. Funny, so. it seems to me that you only learned that you could teleport like uh, the last, last yeah. episode. Yeah, so, but, uh, but yeah, we'll find out if he knows anything about the death threats on the next one. That's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.